Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest 3. In the last episode we got the Thieves Key and explored most of the tower. In this episode I will be going to find that chest that I mentioned before. Now we go up the stairs. And instead of going around the outside like I did last time, I'm going to go up this way instead. And up these stairs. And there's the chest. And it contains a small metal. Uh, our fourth one so far. Now, now I'm going to cut it and meet you back in Alahan. See you then. And we're back in Alahan in front of the door to the prison. Now we're going to open all the red doors that we see and see if there's any treasures behind those doors. Now the first one that we saw was out in this... Well, actually, the first one we saw was in the castle. But the closest one to us is this door right here. Let's pillage through these. And we get our fifth small metal. So that means after this, we should go to the mini metal guy. I have no idea what to call him besides that. And get that spiny whip. And the next door is right here. And there's this guy. I think he has something important to say. I've served in Castle Alahan for over ten years now. I always dreamed of becoming a scholar but failed my entrance exam. I may have done better if I would have read the smart book. Okay, that wasn't important at all, so... I wasted time. Let's see. Oh, if you haven't noticed, I'm trying not to talk to any of the NPCs because half the stuff they say isn't important for the most part. And I don't want to voice every single one of them, so, yeah. And there's this lady. No, I'm not going to talk to her. I was thinking about it, though, but no. <laughs> I was going to do a certain voice, but I'm saving that for later. And good reason, too. Now, we're going to go to the mini metal man. And the, well, the well man, there we go. We'll call him that, the well man. And deposit our five mini metals so we stop taking up inventory space. Not that it matters because we have a bag which holds unlimited items. I forgot his voice. Damn it. Well, we don't need his voice because. Oh, wait, new stuff. Um. Shit. Hey, you found some for me. Thank you, my friend. This brings raised total medals to found to five. You found five medals. Please accept the spiny whip. Ray received the spiny whip. Blah, blah, blah. Ten medals and you get a garter belt. Which is exactly disgusting as it sounds when you think about it. So we're going to equip that onto Ray. So I think he's the only... He's one of the only two people that can equip it. And Alina has the chain sickle. Which is good enough. For her, I mean. Now, we're going to head back to the Promenary Cave? I'm lame. I'm, this is off the top of my head. I saw it on Game Facts. Um, yeah, go to Game Facts. It really helps. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to head there, open the other door there, and then I'm just going to walk over to Reef after that. And we're back to the red door that we passed by on the way to Reeve from the cave. Now inside this door is probably a very important item for this part of the game. I recommend getting it as soon as possible. Alright, since we're in a battle now, I shall explain it here. The whip that we got was from the mini metal man is an item that can hit every enemy in a group. Which is very important for battles like this, where the enemies are probably going to withstand someone like Jess's attack, for example. So yeah, see, it hits, hits everyone, and or Ray could just kill all of them. But anyway, as you saw there, as it hits each enemy in succession, the damage dealt goes down. And usually the first one or two receives the most damage. But in these chests is... Agility Seed, which is not really what I wanted. I'm going to be selling that. 
and the wooden helmet, which is really helpful. It, I believe most of our people can equip it, except for maybe Trent. So I'm gonna have to move that around. But yeah, now, now after this, I'm going to be cutting away and going back to Reeve to open the last few red doors that we saw there. So see you there, viewers. And we're back in Reeve. So in here there are two red doors. There was one in the inn that we noticed before. Which I don't think has anything important behind it besides a guard. But this guy's not worthless because somehow he managed to get himself locked in a room. I'm being sarcastic. <clears throat> Some say that a small lake lies to the east beyond the mountains. I heard that many heroes have started their journeys from there. Okay, actually that's really important. Remember that for later. And by later I mean in this episode. And here's the second red door. A pop. There's some odd liquid bubbling in the cauldron. 20 bucks says it's his laundry. And in these pots there is... Wisdom Seed! Selling that, as usual. Actually, no, I think I'm not be using that on Alina, but never mind. An antidote herb. And these bookshelves. I think there's a book in one of these. Nope, I was wrong. Alright, this old man. By the way, old men all have the same voice because it's... I don't know. Because it's hilarious. That's that's right. Yes? Wait, who are you? I better if I left the door. So I had to get in here anyway. Wait, hold on. He's giving me... Wait. He's asking me how I got in, and I'm going to say yes or no? Game, you make no sense. Anyway, I'm going to say no. Oh man, that's the thief key! You will take his child- Wait, hold on. How, how does he know that- You don't forget it. I see, so that an ancient continues. If that's the case, then I have something for you. The magic ball. Personally, I like the Game Boy's colors version of this. The magic bomb. That makes more sense. Take the ball to the lake cave which is east of here. The ball will break the seal block in the portal. Yeah, that's what that guard a few minutes ago was talking about. That's the reason why we're going east now to a harder area, and I am probably... Meh. I think I'm about just enough leveled, maybe a little bit over. I'm definitely over-equipped, that's for sure. But to the east we go! To the east. Oh, I should probably mention- um... As I was about to say before I was rudely interrupted, a walking on mountains and forests will increase your encounter rate on the overworld. That's it. That's all they do. Oh, and notice it's getting dark out. Yeah, see? Monsters and increase attackingly more during mountains and night. That's the worst place to be during night. I gotta say, getting that whip before this point is really helpful. I recommend doing it, viewers. For your own sake. Anyway. The reason why I didn't go here before is because this is locked. I would've gone here before if it wasn't locked. And in here... We have a wing of Weaver, which is nice. In here, nothing. Still nothing. We have a mini metal, our sixth one. Now I won't be going back just yet. That's a way too long to go back and forth for. Ah, and here's the book I was talking about before. Or no, no, I didn't. I cut that out. <laughs> Right, so here's a book explaining what I said before about the whips and boomerangs. But yeah, boomerangs will be really helpful, along with whips, will be really helpful at a later point in the game. You know what point I'm talking about, viewers. I, I like how that's all caps, like... Like, they want you to know that you have it. Yes. Then take it to the Cave of Entarishment. You'll find the cave near the Eastern Spring. 
Yeah, see, old people all have the same voice, more or less. To the Eastern Spring! And it's dark. Fantastic. Down these stairs. Now this is the cave. This is what I consider the hardest dungeon for the first part of the game. Seriously, it's annoying. In fact, I'm going to cut it for a moment, guys. Be right back. And we're back. I just wanted to open the map you see on the right here because I consider this place to be fairly confusing and there are a few items here that are really helpful. At least I think they are anyway. So I can get these buttons right. But yeah, I was thinking maybe, I'll see what you guys think, of including a map of, the, of dungeons that have maps on game facts. Just so that they're a little bit more helpful in the uh, long run. But anyway, actually no, let's not use the magic ball just yet. The stairway is sealed off by a stone wall. The magic ball could destroy the wall, though. You're such a poet, old man. Such a poet. But yeah, let's use the magic ball now. Ray places the magic ball next to the wall. And it glows. <laughs> so I'm just gonna say this right now. As a joke. So I guess Blazer was in there destroying monsters for us. Because yeah, those sounded like the sound effects from Soul Blazer. Or... Yeah, Soul Blazer. When you kill a monster. But anyway, in this chest is one of our most important items. For whoever finds this, I present this map to you. Press the R button to view the map. Press it again to zoom in. I hope you find this to be helpful. Yeah, it's going to be helpful. In fact, uh, there we go. That's the map of the world. Yes, that is the whole world right there. Yes, it does kind of look like uh, Earth right now. But yeah, that's the world map. And I can't get rid of it. There we go. And down these stairs. So right now, at this point, we're at one over there. You want to avoid falling in the holes, because they'll send you down to basement three over there, and that's not helpful at all. So we shall be taking this way. No, we won't. <laughs> well, we shall be going up one and then going over. Don't fall in that hole, it's tricky. And this place has new monsters. Ant bears and almirages. Remember, viewers, I was mentioning in the prior episode about douchebags and mages? These, the almirages, they're the douchebags. They can put your party to sleep, so kill them as soon as possible. If you get into a group of four of them, you can either try running away or try killing all of them. I'm going to try killing all of them, because I have a whip. But anyway, at C right here, we have an antidote herb. Useless, but I decided to get it anyway. Oh yes, I didn't have to go that way, the left way before. I could have gone around, but I decided to go this way anyway, just just cause. Thank God for that whip, or else I'd probably be screwed going through this place. But anyway, up, up now we have like the world's longest corridor. Seriously. This, this corridor gave me so much tr uh, trouble as a kid. Why? Because it's long, and you seem to be frequent, and this hole right here. That hole screwed me up so... That hole back there screwed me up so many times I would run in straight into it. But anyway, I digress. Over here we have... The Sacred Knife. That's what it is, a Sacred Knife. In the Game Boy Color game, it was just called Knife. Which I found weird, because it's just a knife. But anyway, anyone could equip it. That's why it's sacred. We're going to be putting it in our bag, because it's useless to everyone, I think. I think. Hold on. 
Actually, no. I'm leaving it on Ray. In case I want to give someone else the whip later. But anyway, moving on! That's a pit. If I had the map open, I would have avoided that. But I don't have the map open. And here we have a staircase! Now we go to the left one. We're back. There's a reason why I'm starting here. Whenever you see that arrow, usually I believe it either means you, you're going to level up. You're going to level up. See, like I said, it took forever for that to work. Or you're going to get an item. Or both at the same time, which is really awesome. I don't know why it's saying milk herb dot he down there. But anyway, this right passage, as shown on the map over there, which I forgot to include in the last uh, cut, sorry folks, leads us to this warping effect. Ooh, warping effect. And now we're at four. And we're stuck in a little room. No, we're not. They just forgot to include stairs. But where are we right now? Are we on the new continent? We're on the left side or the right side of the map? You're going to have to wait and find out right now. We're on the left side. We're right at Italy. I didn't want to be that spoiler. I didn't want to be that uh, suspenseful. But yeah. Is it going to be. Is there going to be a town nearby? Or are we going to get killed right as we step out of this little space here? Or you're going to have to find out in the next episode. This is Parnash, shining. Shining. Signing off. Have a good day.